going on, Jerome? So the largest domino to fall in Vikings free agency and draft strategy is qu- quarterback Kirk DeWood, Jerome Zika Cousins. Actually, it might be the largest domino to fall for several franchises who could be into Kirk in free agency or could be into uh, uh, potentially trading up for a quarterback uh, if Kirk does not come to their team. And with the Vikings, if Kirk decides to get more cash elsewhere, no must, no fuss, no harm, no foul, no big deal. We'll, we'll just sit on that $28.5 million dead from the void year cap hits. But then the Vikings have a decision to make. Do they saddle up with a bridge quarterback and roll the dice and try to move all the way up uh, for one of the top three quarterbacks in this year's class? Uh, and will Quasey pull off a Kevin Coster, uh in this stanza? Now, you know, the top three. Yeah, Penix is sort of tossed in here because it'd be weird to leave the, the space blank. But uh, Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, uh, a lot of people think that they're going to go one, two, three in some sort of order or fashion. But would the Vikings get all up in there? Uh, would the Vikings be able to get up in the stratosphere? Probably wouldn't be able to do business with the Bears. But if Washington is out or if they don't get their guy at one, do they move down uh, and, and assemble assets? Or does New England uh, potentially look to move down? Does Arizona if Marvin Harrison Jr. is off the board and say one of the big three quarterbacks is still there, does Arizona uh, trade down and accumulate more assets and still get a wide receiver? Don't know. But either way, uh, the Vikings could and should have an opportunity to uh, get all up into the stratosphere. Oh, you, but they wouldn't have to trade up if they lost more games. Yeah, it didn't happen. So accept reality on reality's terms. And this comes on the heels of, hey, allegedly, reportedly, uh, the Vikings were interested in trading out for Anthony Richardson, who ended up going number four to the Colts. Now, that jump from 23, uh, where the Vikings eventually took a, a Jordan Addison, would have been a lot farther jump than they are uh, currently at 11, but where there's smoke, always. So this is from Jeremy Fowler, ESPN. Which NFL teams could move up for a quarterback? Blah, 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 blah. The Raiders at 13, blah, 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 blah. People around the league are keeping an eye on the Minnesota Vikings at number 11, too. They did a lot of quarterback homework last offseason and could eventually target one high in the draft with free agent uh, Kirk Cousins, future in Minnesota uncertain. But moving from number 11 into the top three would cost GM Quasi Nova Mensa a ton of draft capital. And for comp, so... Not saying that this is how it's going to turn out, but back in 2021, back in the day, uh, when the Niners moved up from 12 up to 3, uh, that would be relatively similar to the Vikings potentially moving up to the top 3 from 11. Now, this was the Trey Lance trade. Yes, this one d- was done before uh, the draft, so the Niners knew who was going to fall and who was going to be there, uh, but they gave up ultimately three firsts and a third-round pick. Now, those picks turned out pretty good. It's part of the trades for uh, Tyreek Hill and Bradley Chubb, as well as uh, the drafting of Jalen Waddle, but that's n- neither here nor there. Uh, but the Vikings, I mean, yeah, uh, there, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, you know, scouts and executives, they, they love to talk about as well who's lighting up the phone lines, etc. And if the Vikings do want to make a move up, I would understand it. Uh, I, I would get it. Now, they could stick and pick at 11. Uh, they could take Pe- uh, Penix, Nix, McCarthy. Hell, may- maybe even Spencer Rattler's working his way up in there after a solid senior bowl. Who knows? Uh, but that does seem a little bit early. They could roll the dice on one of the guys being there at 42. They could look to trade in uh, back into the, uh, end of the first round. But I say if you got a crush, if you know that – Drake May is the guy. If you know that Jaden Daniels is the guy, I think Caleb Williams goes one, so he may be out of the conversation. But if you know that one of those two guys are the dude, go get your guy. Go up and get him. And Kevin O'Connell and Quasey, they they sort of you know kick the can on uh, on succession down the road a bit, where they hitch their wagons to Kirk Cousins. Uh, they signed him to a one year uh, extension during the first off season together before the 2022 season, and it now expired. And, I mean, they've only drafted Jaron Hall uh, in the fifth round and doesn't look like he's going to be the future franchise guy. But, uh, again, if you find the guy, go up and go get him. Just go ahead and go do it. And also, it's a spot where, hey, maybe Kevin O'Connell and Quasi are entering the the season on the warm seat. So, may as well trade future draft picks that you might not be around to spend anyway. Who knows? But, like I said, if you fall in love, if you can say with 100% certainty, well, there's nothing 100% in this game, but 99.99999% certainty that Drake May is the guy, that uh, that Jaden Daniels is the guy, and Kevin O'Connell will cater his offense to Jaden Daniels' unique skill set. I say go get him. Go, go get him. No risk it, no biscuit, no gamble, no future. Scared money, don't make money. All of the gambling cliches, uh, go up and go get it, man. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. 
Mm. Uh, per ESPN, Jeremy Fowler, the Vikings could be a team to watch to potentially move up into the stratosphere to take their quarterback of the future. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>